With your complete forecast, here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, it's all about tropical storm. Eventually, Hurricane Zeta once again still on track to make landfall southeast Louisiana tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. But first off, on the Doppler radar, already seeing tropical showers moving into portions of Alabama, Mississippi, and also Louisiana. Uh, the activity more concentrated off to the east of us. And this is going to be the beginning of what we'll see going on overnight tonight. Occasional tropical showers moving in, not a washout, but nonetheless, Less. We'll see tropical rain bands moving in. We have some action over toward Beauregard Parish, Calcasieu Parish as well, and then into Acadia Parish uh, by the Esterwood area up through Crowley and Rain, and more shower activity in eastern Vermilion Parish. So this is the beginning of what we'll be seeing in the next 24 to 36 hours. So as we look at the big picture, we see our tropical storm and influence of our tropical system now beginning to spread through the entire Gulf of Mexico. This is the moisture we're just seeing, so uh, deeper tropical moisture right here. That's going to be working its way northward overnight tonight. That's why we'll keep rain chance in the 60 to 70 percent range, but the core of the storm should miss most of Acadiana, and that has been the good news. Unfortunately, the bad news this afternoon, here's uh, just a 12 hour loop, and you can see the storm getting away from the Yucatan now beginning to intensify some of the colder air here uh, beginning to develop. This is a six hour loop rather, and uh, cold tops means the storm is intensifying once again, probably become a a hurricane by later on this evening. Right now, 65 mile an hour winds moving smartly to the northwest at about 14, and it's only going to accelerate as it gets picked up by that upper level trough we talked about at 5 o'clock, and then making landfall tomorrow evening, southeast Louisiana, and just hours after that, it's going to be Mississippi. Look at this. Just in a 12 hour period, 80 mile per hour winds offshore, and then uh, inland with 50 mile per hour winds or less going into Alabama. And again, the forecast track is not changed. Change. Our comb continues to shrink as we're getting closer to landfall. So Acadiana for now outside of the cone, and that is good news. And if anything, the forecast track I don't think is going to change a whole lot uh, over the next 12 to 24 hours. Hurricane Center doing a good job with that track. So hurricane warnings now posted. Morgan City, Amelia on eastward over to the Alabama and uh, Mississippi state line. Locally, we still have tropical storm watches for Vermilion, Iberia, St. Mary, Lower St. Martin parishes, but that's kind of a just in case they would have changed to warnings if we would expect tropical storm force winds here in Acadiana or those portions of Acadiana. So that is the good news. Other good news, the uh, National Hurricane Center lo lowering uh, the amount of water that's going to be coming in through Timbalier, Chafalaya and Vermilion Bay down to about one to three feet. So minor coastal flooding. Uh, the major flooding is going to occur over eastern Louisiana, four to six feet, five to eight as you get over toward Mississippi with the core of that storm. And again, anywhere in yellow. That's going to be inundated by water. You're going to see high water Grand Isle for sure. And then down along Highway 1 as we go into the extreme southeastern portion of Louisiana and the easternmost facing wetlands as you go into eastern Louisiana. Not many folks live out in that part of the world, so that is the good news. So here we go with the graph model. That's done a great job on forecast track with storms, and we'll be showing you a different model coming up tonight at 10. Uh, but scattered tropical showers overnight tonight through tomorrow. Then you see the core of the storm working its way northward as we get into tomorrow afternoon. We'll see tropical showers locally, but the main action will be eastern and southeastern Louisiana. Some heavier showers over toward uh, St. Mary Parish, but not any flooding rainfall. And then at worst weather going through Galliano, Grand Isle, eventually New Orleans, and then on up into Mississippi over by Pass Christian, Gulfport, and then on up through Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Meanwhile, at the same time, drier air, cooler air begins to spill in, and we'll see the rains diminishing tomorrow evening. And then by tomorrow night, the skies breaking up. We'll go to clear skies and temperatures upper 40s to lower 50s for Thursday morning. Some nice cool weather on the way. So here's the wind forecast. We'll look at the RPM model. This one's different than what we showed you at five, showing you a pretty good idea where the storm is going to be making landfall somewhere by Grand Isle. A hurricane force gusts. These are gusts 70, 80 mile an hour winds work their way through southeast Louisiana and then on up through Mississippi. And all the while we don't see winds gusting much higher than 25 or 30 across Acadiana, including Morgan City. Notice here, Morgan City. Uh, these are wind gusts 26 
but you get over to Dulac, not much farther to the east. You're seeing 50, 60 mile an hour gusts. So plan for that 40, maybe 45 mile an hour winds in Morgan City, but not likely in those highest winds. Hurricane force wind gusts uh, from Grand Isle, Port Sulphur, and then on into Mississippi as well. Hopefully New Orleans will not see hurricane force winds with this system. And as we take a look at your power outage threat associated with the graph model showing where the power outages will be most likely easternmost Louisiana and then on up into Mississippi. And as for rainfall, here's the graph model rainfall. This may be a hot run. We'll take a look at further runs later on tonight. Not much rain in Acadiana, inch or two or less, so no flooding here. Uh, but certainly the threat of flooding as all this rain is going to come down in about three hours for our friends off to the east. So no major issues, tides, flooding, rain, wind damage or power outages. If you want to see this graphic, it's posted on KETC.com and also my social media pages. So tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow, 60% on your rain chances, 70% tomorrow. Uh, not a washout of a day, keeping an eye on Zeta in case there are any changes. And as we go down the road, here comes that fall weather, perfect gumbo weather as we head into Halloween weekend and even beyond a nice stretch of weather we all deserve probably for the next year or two after this hurricane season. That's it for weather for now. We're going to be right back right after this.